Hey, hey, it's Tyler from Rehab to Fab Designs. Today we're going to be making spell books for Halloween. You'll need some letter stickers. You can pick these up from your craft store or from Walmart. And then you'll also want to swing by your local Dollar Tree or Dollar General or Walmart and pick up some various Halloween decorations. Spiders, bats, skeletons, creepy teeth, and eyeballs are a must if you want to make a Hocus Pocus book. You also need tissue paper and something to adhere it to create the look of old leather skin. And of course, some old books. You can pick these up at the thrift store. And you want to make sure you're using the hardback edition. Here I'm just going through the various toys that I picked up at my local um, Dollar General for um, stuff to add to the books. First, we're going to start with some simple decoupage. Using any tissue paper that you pick up at your store, you're going to wad it up first so you can get some nice wrinkles in it to imitate wrinkled leather skin. Next, we're going to adhere it to our book using a decoupage medium. I'm using clear coat top coat from Dixie Belle. Apply it with a sponge, then lay your tissue paper over top of the wet top coat. I like to pull it up and cut try to create wrinkles within it as well, especially for the book that I'm making the Hocus Pocus spell book from because the design on it is made to look like um, old skin that is kind of leathered and has been sewn together. So I want to make sure I have some wrinkles in there. Apply your paper to the front, back, and the binding of the book. For the inside part, you can just wrap it around it and glue it down or trim off any excess, whichever you prefer. Once you get your first coat on with your complete layer of paper, I came back with a smaller torn pieces of paper and added them over top to create the illusion of layers and to make it thicker. You don't have to worry about the color of the book showing through so much because we're going to paint over that anyways. But I did do the layers just so again it gave me that layered look effect and more wrinkles and more creases because that's what we wanted it to look like overall when we were done. Hey, hey, it's Tyler and Landon here. We are making some um, spooky books for Halloween. Um, we have some old books that um, my mom actually donated to us. We were just looking for some hardbacks so we can do this project. So if you guys like these writers, we're sorry. But we're going to craft and make an art project out of the books. So we're first going to take off the um, paper cover. That way we have a hardback here. We're going to decoupage some tissue paper on. And then we're going to put some creepy crawlies on it and make us some spell books for Halloween. Let's get started. So I went by um, my local Dollar General and picked up some um, bugs, some fake teeth. I don't know what all we'll end up using. I've got a big scorpion here, which would be good on the front of a book maybe. I don't know. Maybe not. He won't get flat. Um, some bats, some spiders, etc. Um, that we're going to decorate. And we're going to try to do a Hocus Pocus book with an eyeball. If the eyeballs I got work. I got them at um, the Dollar General too. They're squishy though. So I don't know if they're going to work. Oh, they're like gel. I thought if nothing else, we could maybe cut them out. It's actually kind of cool as a gel, but we'll see. Let's play around with it and see what we can do. We're going to get started by um, decoupaging our tissue paper on the front. You can use any color. We happen to have a green one open, so that's what we're doing. I've already got this one done. I did it earlier today, so it would be dry so we can decorate it. Um, and we're going to go ahead and do this one and this one as well so they can be drying. All right, let's decoupage some more books because we're going to make several. So again, I'm using Dixie Belle Clear Coat Top Coat for my decoupage medium here and a sponge brush to apply it. Simply dip it in the medium, apply your uh, top coat to your book, and then just lay the tissue paper right on top of it and then press it down. I pulled and pinched it to kind of gather it to create excess wrinkles in mine. Once you get the top layer on, come back with additional layers. All right, for this part, you're gonna need hot glue gun and some glue, I'm probably gonna run out. We're gonna go ahead and put our critters on before we paint. This one is dry. This one I did earlier today. Um, so we'll just kind of move these around. This is a bat. And I think we might put him here. I really like the spiders, they're kind of cool too. And we have an eyeball we'll put on one. I 
also like the teeth. We should wear these, shouldn't we, before we put them in? Nancy. <laughs> Is that good? Oh, you know we had to. Sorry, not sorry. On my dry book that I did first, I'm going ahead and laying my letters down um, to create the words that I want on the books. On this one, I'm using charms, and then I also have this little wood applique that I picked up, I believe, at Hobby Lobby that I glued down, and then my spider using a hot glue gun. Next, I decided to put Beware on the side of the book. These are just some little sticky foam letters that I picked up at the craft store. Apply all your letters, your applique, your bugs, whatever it is that you want to put on, and then simply come over it with paint. I'm using Midnight Sky, which is like a really, really dark charcoal, almost black colored paint um, from the chalk paint line from Dixie Bell Paint Company. Completely cover the book. And then I'm coming back with Driftwood, which is a lighter gray color, and just kind of dabbing it on here and there. And then coming back with a paper towel and pressing it in various areas to kind of spread it out and just give it kind of a smoky look. Once I did that, I went back over my letters and my wood applique with my black paint again. Okay, so my book is dry. Here's what it looks like so far. I did, um, ironically, lime green tissue paper. You can see a little bit there. And then I painted it using um, Dixie Belle Midnight Sky, which is a dark, dark charcoal color. It's almost black, but not quite black. It's about the darkest charcoal you can get. And the other one I used is um, Driftwood. By Dixie Bell, which is a um, kind of a medium gray, and I just kind of blotted it on with the same paintbrush, and then came back with a paper towel to blot all over it um, to get this effect. And I really am liking it. This here on the side, I only put it at the top and the bottom. Um, this is a little wood um, applique, and my spider. And then of course it says charms here and beware here. The next thing I'm going to do is come back in with Dixie Belle's Gilding Wax in silver to highlight uh, the letters. Maybe a little bit here too. We'll see. For my Gilding Wax, I came in and used a small um, piece of a sponge and just dipped it right down into the wax itself. Picked up a little bit on the sponge and then just used it to kind of rub gently over the letters to highlight them and make them stand out. I also added a little bit of the gilding wax um, in the corners of the book just to make it kind of look worn and weathered um, and then also on my wood applique on the corners of it. And this is what the charms book looks like when I got finished. Super cute. Next it was time for the book that um, is the reason why I'm doing this project. So I have always wanted to do a Hocus Pocus book because I love Hocus Pocus and everything Halloween. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start by using our hot glue gun to draw lines on the book that will indicate where the skin um, that creates this leather bound book is pulled together and then sutured together to make the binding. While this was drying, I used rolled up paper towels to create something that's going to encase the eyeball that I picked up at the dollar store for the eye of the book. Simply roll your paper towel up and then glue the end so that they stick together. You can see here I was trying to fit it around the book, or I'm sorry, the eyeball to see what size I needed it to actually be. Once I determined that, I cut my paper towel to size and then glued it into place on the book. Next, I came back with my hot glue gun to draw the suture marks over the previous two lines that I put on the book with my hot glue gun. All right, so this is going to mimic my eyebrow here. This is just a folded up paper towel. I've got my sutures done um, for the um, leather skin, the skin that's been sewn together. Um, it's pretty dry. I think I'm gonna paint it. I have Chocolate by Dixie Belle. I have Burlap from Dixie Belle, which is a lighter tan. I have Suzanne Fall Colors Pumpkin Spice. Not sure if I'll use that. Maybe a little rusty nail for some red. We'll see. Um, we want it to look like leathered skin. 
I started with my leather skin by applying a coat all over in chocolate by Dixie Belle. Next, I came in with Midnight Sky and added it predominantly to the low spot in between where the sutures are, just because that area looks darker to me on the actual book. Next, I took Rusty Nail and dabbed it on in various places, followed by Burlap, just to give the um, leather um, some different variations in color. Use a paper towel to blot to get it the way you want. Next, it was time to create um, the binding on the outside of the book. So again, using a paper towel, I cut it in half, rolled it up, and glued it into place across the back binding of the book um, just to add that little bit of extra whimsy. All right, now I'm just gonna put some glue here in the bottom of my little reservoir. And then I'm going to put my eyeball in. And hopefully it sits good and I don't get paint all over it. Nor my grody fingerprints. So I did take another small piece of paper towel, um, about half the length of um, the other pieces I used and rolled it up as well. Um, that way it's a little skinnier and I'm using it to mimic like the actual eyelid um, that lays kind of across the eye to cover the top portion up because I felt like it was too exposed otherwise. All right, the last thing we have to do is our sutures here on the back. So I'm going to just go ahead and take some more glue. And we'll do that. Continue drawing on your sutures using your hot glue gun. And then once the sides are a little bit dry, you can go ahead and come right back across the top to create the actual suture lines. Once this is dry, come back in and paint it. So I painted right over top of it with the chocolate and then the midnight sky again um, to add the darker areas there and then added a little bit of the rusty nail and burlap. And here's what it looks like when I finished up. It turned out super cute. I couldn't be any happier with it. Um, and then here's a look at the first one as well for my charms book. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please be sure to like and subscribe. And thanks as always for following along with us. Happy painting.